Staten Island. All they wanna hear is Manhattan. Queens women and bronze girls think Staten Island's too small. But I'ma show who got the biggest side. Staten Island, New York. Fifth bro with a forgotten one. If you ain't never ride on the ferry, then you should hop on one. Hop on one. To the Statue of Liberty. Let's finish this. I think we got everything we need. We've got our base cove, the cement, the caulk, and everything else. So let's go. So when I got these lights and I put these new lights and light fixture in here, I wanted to make sure I got dimmable bulbs because it's nice to have the bathroom really bright if you're taking a shower or you just need a little bit of extra light. But for brushing your teeth or doing whatever you're gonna do regularly at this vanity, it's just too bright. So I got these, the regular toggle light switches, but they're dimmable. So let's throw these in. Shaped. Gotta plug these in somewhere else. It's all right. I got it. Bazinga! Wow. So I need to see if this base cove is going to cover up this gap over here. Let's see. Oh, it's so close. Okay, new plan. We'll figure this out later. We have to do this after the trim gets on anyway, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll do this wall into the tub and then we'll cock the tub. Okay, this will be my first time ever doing this. Oh, it's gonna be a learning curve. I'm so excited about learning. Should we cock the tub first? No. Probably. No, no way. What do you think? My really? professional opinion. You think so? Yeah. Do you really? I feel like I'm always vacuuming this bathroom. <laughs> How often do you vacuum your bathroom? Not often enough. I know that about you. With your dirty bathroom. Quite a bit bigger. What is going on here? Why? Why are you doing this? She's not amused. Oh. I'm using silicone because I think that's what you're supposed to do if there's a lot of moisture. I guess I'll just use that for all the base in the bathroom where there could be water. And then I'll use latex for the door trim. Let's learn together. 
Uh, I've seen people do it with just water, a dry finger, and soapy water. I'm gonna try soapy water. Soapy water. No! Let's go for it. Let's learn together. Oh, I'm already messing up. Oh boy. It's coming apart on me. Oh, all right. That's not working. Easily the most humbling thing I've ever done in my life. Thinner bead, thinner bead. There's silicone everywhere. Oh boy. This is a freaking mess. That is the wrong thing to do that I did right there. So, that was my first time caulking, ever. And like pushing a boulder off a cliff, it went downhill really fast. Fast. It was bad. So I watched a YouTube video, and this guy just took the soapy water mixture and sprayed it on there, wiped his finger across, and it was glass, it was perfect, perfect. And it was titled something like Beginner to Pro in Seconds. Bought right into that one. It quickly turned into a mess I had to clean up and now hopefully I've learned enough to continue on. Let's go. So I think what I'm gonna do now is cut a piece for this base cove beside the tub. And then once that's cemented in, I'm gonna run a bead along the bottom edge of this so I can throw in the vein V in the toilet. Round two. I don't know how many times have I lost. Something's gonna happen. I'm like nervous. I don't get tired. I don't get nervous. Neither. I do. I do. I might just have to leave well enough alone. It'll be waterproof, I hope. <laughs> so I think all the caulking is done and I'm gonna bring in the toilet now and then the vanity. I was putting in this toilet, obviously, and it kept like making a creaking porcelain cracking noise. And it looked like um, there's some chips in the back of it. And it's got, it's got two long cracks going down both sides of the back of the toilet. So, we'll be buying another toilet and we're just gonna throw this whole thing away. Live and you learn. We're gonna bring this vanity in now. Sure. This is significantly taller than the last sink we had in here. 
and the pipe coming out of the wall is really low. It doesn't fit. This is supposed to go up in here and then it do that, but it did not do that. Maybe I can do something like this, huh? Yeah, perfect. I guess we'll probably have to get an adapter for this to bring it lower. So this can go here. All right. This, yeah, not an inch. So if you ever need to find a stud, you can use some strong little magnets and then just run them over where you think the studs might be. So if this corner is a stud, I think it's gonna be somewhere right in here. Yes. So I think that's about all we're gonna do for tonight. I'm holding this because we have a permanent shower curtain to, rod to install. <sighs> do you wanna install it tonight? No. That is all for this one. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Women and bronze girls thinks that nothing's too small But I'ma show who got the biggest up Staten Island, New York